The arts and the humanities belong to all the people of the United States. President Lyndon B. Johnson gave this sentence power by signing the National Foundation on the Arts and Humanities Act of 1965. However, as states continue to cut school funding and money towards public education declines, investment in the arts is hit especially hard. The arts can be transformative in the lives of children, but they are often under threat of budget cuts and demanding academic testing. Good evening. My name is Allison Swartz. I am 14 years old and a seven year member of Sunset Branch 4-H Club. I am here today to tell you that I am a proud student of Southern Delaware School of the Arts, SDSA, a magnet school in the Indian River School District, and I can attest to the importance of arts and education. All students should experience an opportunity in the arts through their education. Research shows that education rich in the arts enhances creativity and ability for students to express themselves. Arts education enhances creativity. Performing arts students, for example, show greater flexibility and adaptability in thinking than their peers. Students receiving an arts rich education perform better on assessments of creativity than do students receiving little or no arts education. An arts integrated class provides a wonderful arts integrated class provides a wonderful environment for fostering creativity, which is an important skill to have in a rapidly changing world. In my nine years at SDSA, I have the opportunity to experience all aspects of the arts, including vocal music, drama, dance, art, and instrumental music. Of course, there's some, there are some of the arts that I'm better suited for than others. Just ask my parents. I was not meant to major in vocal music. Out of all the arts, I am most passionate about dance. I have been doing dance class since I was two years old, and I was fortunate enough to start kindergarten at a school that integrated dance into my curriculum. Through dance, I can express myself without having to say a word. That's what the arts are all about, expressing yourself with or without words. The arts alone don't just let students express themselves, it also enriches their learning in other core classes. Gavin Newsom, the governor of California once said, an arts education helps build academic skills and increase academic performance while also providing alternative opportunities to reward the skills of children who learn differently. The arts help expand on students' minds when it comes to core classes. Music, painting, drama, and dance help literature come alive. A report by the Americans for the Arts states that young people who participate regularly in the arts that's about three times a day, three hours a day, are four times more likely to be recognized for academic achievement. And Thad Cochran, a former member of the US Senate stated, scientific research and other studies have demonstrated that arts education can enhance American students' math and language skills and improve test scores, which in turn increases chances of higher education and good jobs in the future. Former First Lady Michelle Obama addressed the importance of the arts and education when she said, arts education isn't something we add on after we've achieved other priorities, like raising test scores or getting kids into college. It's critical for achieving those priorities in the first place. At my school, many of the assignments I complete are arts integrated, which means I get to choose how I complete them. For example, one time for language arts, we had to create a story but we couldn't just write it down. So I, of course, made the decision to make a music video that included singing and dancing. For social studies, we had a group project to reenact a historical event. My group decided to include all the arts, and we even had kids play instruments. Out of all those leaders I just quoted, they believe that the arts help students in academics, which is a very true statement. The arts also teach collaboration, teamwork, and leadership. The arts increase teamwork and collaboration between students. As students work together, they learn to understand differences and diversity and realize the ways that teamwork contributes to a great performance. Art making allows students to experience what it feels like to be active members of a community and work as a team to determine and achieve common goals. The arts teach students leadership and how to take action. Students who participate in the arts develop leadership skills, including decision-making, strategy building, planning, and reflection. 
The arts help to develop a strong sense of identity and confidence in a student's ability to affect the world around them in meaningful ways. There have been many occasions where the arts have taught me not to be afraid and to take charge. I no longer fear speaking or performing in front of a large audience. I mean, when you've been doing it since kindergarten, you kind of get used to being in front of a large crowd. Since the arts are integrated into my education that I'm learning, it has taught me to give and receive constructive criticism. Either from my teacher or my peers, I have learned to appreciate feedback and collaboration to improve myself. Having the arts teach kids how to communicate and lead is just one of the many reasons why it is so important to have the arts in education. I'm going to leave you with a quote today by Matthew Morrison, a famous actor, singer, and dancer. He once said, I wouldn't be where I am today without the amazing public arts education that I have. I can attest to that because I feel the same way. I may only be 14, but I wouldn't be where I am today without the amazing arts education that I received. If you only take one thing away from my speech today, I want it to be that arts education is vital to student performance. Arts education should be a priority in schools. Thank you.